Hey, how you doing? My name is Mark Weininger, and today I want to talk about CE Communications over the switch cable management bracket for a Cisco 6509. But first, what we did is we pre-wired a switch with a lot of the don'ts in the industry. I'm going to start off by showing you some of these, and hopefully you'll be able to correct them in your own infrastructure if your wiring looks like this. First and foremost, we see cables hanging down from the number one card. As you can see, there's a lot of strain on these cables. That can hurt the integrity and the performance of the cable over the long haul. Next, the cables are covering over each network card, which the network card should be able to be pulled out in a live environment. And in this instance, you may have to shut down your whole switch. So that hurts that probability of being able to get a card out. The third thing is the fan card. Fan card, again, is supposed to be hot swappable. We used the fan card handle as a wire manager, which may be, I don't know, what's being used in your infrastructure. If you do that, and the card is supposed to come out, you're going to have to pull out those connections to get the card out, and maybe more. Fourth on our list is the power supplies. You have two power supplies on these switches. They should be able to be pulled right out, fully accessible, so that if you have one bad power supply, you can put another one in and keep your redundancy. Lastly, what we have is all this cable sitting in front of our switch and cabinet doors. If you can't close the cabinet doors, why have a cabinet? But moreover, if you do are able to shut the doors, you may be dropping ports. And that's not a good thing either. Hope this helped. Hey, how are you doing today? My name is Mark Weininger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about C Communications patented over-the-switch cable manager for a 6509. Let me open up the cabinet, show you what we get inside. What we have, as you can see, two Cisco 6509s. On the first switch, we have five blades cabled up, the cable going from left to right. There's about oh, 200 cables here, and as you can see, they're neatly wired, neatly dressed in. That's what our bracket allows. But moreover, we have things that are exposed for the implementer to get out and get after. Number one is the power supply. You have no cables hanging down, which makes it really easy to take the power supply out and put a new one in, in a live environment. Secondly, a fan card. Fan cards are also supposed to be hot swappable in a live environment. With our wire manager, all you have to do is loosen up one screw and remove the other while lowering the bracket. Then, after loosening the two screws on the fan card, a little pull, and then slide it right out. Matter of minutes, you could have a new fan card in your switch and have zero downtime. The next thing is a network card. Taking out a network card, you have to remove one of our arms. Maybe two in some instances, but in this instance, we'll just remove one. As you can see on this arm, we have pre-cutouts already put in place to put Velcro around the cords. Now we're going to remove a network card. I'm going to get my hands in here, pull the latches, bracket over just a little bit. And again, within a matter of minutes, bang, out comes a network card. All ready to be reinstalled and recabled. I want to show you though the fiber. We prefer to keep the fiber separate from the copper. 
So what we do is we do run the fiber over the fan card. But what we do is we put in a network loop in the fiber just so that we can loosen it up, pull the fiber out, and still get the card out. I hope you use our network switch bracket in the future, and thank you for watching.